The Random Wheel series seems to be one of my most requested series from pretty much all of you guys, so we're going to come back here with another episode of it, and I've kind of changed up the colors of the wheel a little bit just to kind of keep things fresh, you know, but we're going to go ahead and spin for four different weapons and then spin for the optics that we're going to be using on each of these. So uh, let's go ahead and start spinning. And today's is going to be a Mississippi Acres edition. I've decided I want to do this on Mississippi Acres because I actually have been starting to enjoy the map a little bit more than I was for the last like month or so. Uh, the map was amazing when it first came out that I kind of lost interest in it for a bit. And now I'm starting to have some fun on it once again. So we're going to be hunting that map today, but let's go ahead and spin for all the weapons we're going to be using. Okay, so that is an interesting group of weapons. Uh, definitely not what I was expecting. 22 Hornet, 300 Magnum, 45 Colt, and then we're also going to be using the 223, so that would be the Bolt Action 223. Uh, let's go ahead and spin for all of the different optics for all of these. And I think to switch it up, instead of uh, just spinning individually for each weapon, let's just spin for four different options. And that is, I guess, what we get to use. And if we land on stuff that isn't compatible with any of our stuff, then so be it. We just got to go with it. So let's spin for four different optic options. And yeah, we're just going to hope that this turns out well. Handgun sight. Okay, that's that's not bad. And we got the night vision scope, another, I guess, not amazing, but not terrible one. The helioscope. Okay, so that's for lever actions. That's no use to us. And the rangefinder sight. So that is for bows. <laughs> well, so we got the night vision sight and the handgun sight. Surprisingly, I think the 45 Colt is actually going to be our most useful weapon because we actually have a somewhat decent scope. Oh, this is going to be interesting. And thankfully, there is quite a bit of Mississippi servers up at the moment. So let's go ahead and hop into one that's earlier in the morning. Uh, we'll do this one. It's around 730. I tend to like to hunt the fields at around like, I guess, five in the morning up till like nine in the morning. It seems to be a pretty good time to go out there and get yourself some quail, some raccoon, some turkey, stuff like that. And then I tend to transition into whitetail hunting their in their uh, drink zones right after. So that's probably going to be the plan to start out with. And then we might do some other things as well, maybe some gator hunting. You know, honestly, with this loadout, I really don't know how things are going to go. Like I was saying, this is really our only mid to long range option, and it's a handgun, so that really doesn't even give us much long range. So it's either going to be iron sights with something that can actually do well, like a 300, or it's going to be close range with the 45 Colt. But either way, I'm interested to see how this will go. It's definitely going to be, I think, the most interesting loadout we've had in this series. So hopefully you guys enjoy this because this is going to be difficult. Oh, wait a minute. Is that... That is most definitely a piebald. So we actually are off to a pretty decent start. So that's a really good sign. Uh, it sounds like there's also some deer over here, so we will crouch down just in case there's something good. But that is a piebald over there. So that's really cool. We at least have a rare. It's not exactly a rare that I care too much about, but at least it's something, and that's a rabbit. So there is more whitetail, but it does not appear that there is anything too crazy in that herd. So it looks like the only thing we really have to focus on is this little piebald, which is pretty cool. And honestly, since this is just a doe, I think we'll just shoot her with the 300 Magnum once she starts to go alert. We should be able to walk clear up to like 120 without alerting her, so we can get decently close, and then we're just going to take her with the 300 Magnum, since the 45 is uh, something we'd have to get much closer for, and I don't really feel like spending the time getting close for something like this. So we're just going to go ahead and do that nice little iron sight shot with the 300 Magnum, taking her down extra fast. This is definitely not what I was expecting to have our first uh, kill of the day be, but I will take it because it is a rare 48.36 kgs on that doe, and we got a nice lung shot there. A little bit to the right, but not too far enough to where it missed the lungs, thankfully. But that was close to being a miss. That was, that was definitely pushing it. Oh, that's nice. Uh, that is a 5 to 6 kg Gray Fox track. Um, did I crash? I crashed, I think. Amazing. Well, 
we're gonna try and find the server again and if we can I guess we'll chase after this oh man well we did get back on the trail of that Fox and we are now to some tracks that say just now which means it should be very very close hopefully we can actually make something happen here because we're very limited on stuff we can use on this thing effectively I think we're gonna have to go with the 45 Colt most likely it seems like the best option even though I absolutely despise the 45 Colt I think it is one of the worst guns in the game the fact that it actually got a scope with this challenge uh, that makes it the most viable thing for taking out this Fox unfortunately so let's just hope that the I guess lack of power on this thing doesn't hinder our chances at getting whatever this Fox may be Ooh, there it is okay so that is actually the female there was a female and a male in this zone so that would be our female the question is is the male gonna be close to her or is it gonna kind of be off to the side oh that answers that question please be a level 9 oh my gosh just a level 9 hi Wow uh, that's not what I expected I was really hoping it was a 9 but I didn't think it would actually be a 9 oh my gosh hello there oh my gosh what are you kidding me I am so happy I reconnected to the server and continued looking Wow that is insane what has our Fox luck been recently ah it's a gold no well got a little ahead of myself <laughs> It trolled, but that's insane. We found a level 9 legendary. The fox luck has been just ridiculous recently. And we managed to take that out with the 45 Colt, which in most cases I would never use that thing, but it actually worked out pretty well here. That was like the most unexpected thing I think we've come across in a while. Besides maybe the super rares, but that was insane. The way that thing just trotted up on us. It really gave us not a lot of time to react, but thankfully we made a good shot. I really wish that would have made it. That's uh, pretty disappointing. The thing about the Gray Fox I've noticed is it seems like their score doesn't always match perfectly with their weight. Unlike some other species that are scored by weight, I've had a few different Fox that uh, were level 9s that uh, had a slightly higher score than what the weight was and vice versa so it seems like it's not as much of a 100% bet that if it is a certain weight that it'll be a certain score uh, there's definitely some variation which I can only imagine is some type of I guess invisible skull size scoring system or something but uh, overall that was amazing that was really fun a really cool way to find a legendary it's just unfortunate that it trolled but honestly, that's why I always follow the max weight tracks for the Gray Fox because I really feel like they tend to have level 9s a little bit more out of those max weight tracks than the Red Fox do. And I've found, I think, two of my level 9s by following the track from it in multiplayer. So I would definitely recommend chasing after every max weight Fox track you see, especially if it's a female, because there is uh, diamond females as well. And... Ooh, that's a max weight track too. Uh, this is probably gonna be a mythical, but we could still chase it down. And it is just a level seven, so not even quite a mythical. Uh, that is the unfortunate thing is you can get level sevens out of those five to six kg tracks. And you know what? Let's just uh, go ahead and get it with the 300. I hope that hit. I'm pretty sure it should have. But uh, yeah, since that thing's nothing crazy, we'll just blast it with the 300. Or completely miss as we did yeah well that guy gets to live to fight another day I got a call from some quail over here so I'm gonna run over in this direction and hope that we have a couple that are close enough to hit with the 22 Hornet because uh, even though we do have the 45 Colt which also doubles as a 410 uh, shotgun handgun we're not gonna be using that because we didn't roll it on the wheel so we can't actually use the 410 we're limited to just the 45 on that so we will have to use the 22 Hornet to take out these quail but uh, thankfully it's not all that difficult uh, if you're actually half decent, which I am not right now, so. Well, I, I wish I could see where these things are, but I have no idea where it is. Oh, it's, it's right there. Interesting. Well, hopefully we can get this. Oh my gosh, the flick I just had to pull off. 
That took like all of my strength to flick that fast and we somehow got it. It is a silver, red, brown male. We brain shot it even. That's insane. Well, I guess uh, we'll take it. Unfortunately, I got the failed to synchronize error, so I had to find the server again and rejoin it, but we are once again back into the exact same server that we have been playing. And it is at whitetail time now, so hopefully we can find some deer over here at these lakes kind of in the uh, bottom right of the map. It would be really nice if we could because this is usually a pretty loaded area. And maybe if we're lucky enough we can find ourselves a diamond or a rare. What is that deer? Oh my, oh my gosh, what is that? Well, we got to take that down no matter what because that is the most atrocious looking whitetail I think I've ever seen. Yeah, we got to take that thing down. So this guy is chilling out here at about 130 away. I think this should be doable with the 300 Magnum. Let's uh, see if we can maybe get a shot into it because I think we should be able to. Yeah, that's going to be it for that guy, and we now have a very interesting and strange whitetail deer to get a closer look at. I'm really interested to see what exactly has gone on with his antlers because they do not look natural at all. Oh my gosh, what happened to you? Wow, that is, uh, <laughs> that is an interesting deer. I don't even know what to say, except you. Kill it with fire, please. Get rid of this thing. This this does not deserve to be a thing. This deer should not exist with how, how atrocious this thing looks. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that is... That's a unique deer. Very unique deer. Well, that's a little level 3 raccoon right there. I uh, don't exactly know how this is going to go because... I mean, we can't exactly uh, use this scope. It's it's not exactly going to go well, so we're just going to have to hope that we end up hitting it. And that right there is something that's level two. I also want to point out it is not easy to even know if I hit the shot because these iron sights are so blocky on the 223. I think we hit one of those, so we will go check it in a minute, but I'm a little more interested in these uh, quail since it seems there is a couple females in this group. Maybe we can get lucky and find a good one. There we go. Wow, we actually managed to hit three out of that group. Which is pretty surprising considering I have been just absolutely terrible with the iron sights, but it actually worked out that time and we managed to get ourselves a 204 scoring female that uh, did end up making silver. Definitely not anywhere close to diamond, but I think it's the best quail we've killed today, so that's a positive and actually this is now the best at 220. And if I'm not mistaken, yes, we did get a third one. Let's hope this is a female as well, and it is 206.20. I'm really surprised we hit three of those shots. I guess we're uh, starting to get used to the whole iron sights thing. And here we go for round two. There we go, not too bad. Once again, we got three of them. You know, we are really getting the hang of using iron sights on the 22 Hornet, and it's actually going pretty well for the most part. I have no idea how that was considered grounded, but you know, we're just going to have to deal with it, I guess. And that will be another male quail down. But the males uh, have no chance of making diamonds, so they're not really the target of the day. We're a little more interested in getting these females down, and I do believe this was a female right here. Oh no, this actually was a male, 201. Did we even shoot a female in that group? I think we had to have. I'm pretty sure I spotted one. And yeah, this one was, but it's also considered grounded. Well, that's really unfortunate. Can we finish things off with some more fox luck? And that's not a fox. I just heard a fox call, and instead right here we have a raccoon. Well, that's uh, not exactly what I was expecting to see. Oh my gosh, there's actually like three raccoons walking over here. Uh, we can hope some of these are going to be good ones. 
I don't know if there's even a spot here that will be hidden, but if there is, this will be perfect because they're walking directly towards us. So we've got a level 3, a level 2, that's actually probably the level 2 we shot, and then there is a blonde one with them as well that I did not see the level of. We're going to use the 45 Colt since that's actually a usable caliber on them after the change from class 1 to class 2. This is going to be interesting. This actually might be one scenario where the 45 Colt can actually seem a bit overpowered. And with Hunter being directly in the way as always, we do have our raccoon right there. And it actually is a level 4, so I think we'll take this one first. And yeah, that's, that's just not even fair. Oh, that poor raccoon stood absolutely no chance versus the 45 Colt. That's uh, kind of crazy just how quickly it dropped that thing, but I suppose that's to be expected with a... Well, let's be honest, it's too big of a caliber for uh, raccoons if we're, if we're being completely honest here. I would never use a 45 Colt on a raccoon in real life. That just does not seem right. But they let us do it here in Call of the Wild, so we might as well take advantage of that and drop this guy on the spot like we did. That is an 11 scoring raccoon as well, so not bad. Pretty decent one. Well, we got a couple more raccoons in front of us, so uh, we might as well take advantage of that and drop that one on the spot there was a level three farther in the back but it did not appear to be any type of rare or anything like that so we're not really going to worry about it too much uh, this female almost looks like the blonde piebald which is the reason that we took it out so I'm, I'm hoping that i was right although i could be completely wrong and i think i was completely wrong yeah this is just a regular blonde but uh, once again 45 colt just absolutely demolishing these poor things oh my gosh hello there little guy well, let's try to kill this with the 22 Hornet. I think that'll be our best opportunity to do it and did not get a good shot, but 22 Hornet's pretty strong, so it should take it down anyway, and it definitely will now. Well, there's that poor raccoon, two 22 Hornet shots later, and it is a gray level two male. That, that poor thing, that poor, poor raccoon. It still feels so weird to have the raccoons at a class 2 when we were so used to having them be class 1 and just being able to hunt them with birdshot and really whatever we wanted to in the uh, class 1 range and just have a lot of fun with it. It still feels so strange to have them be class 2 where you can shoot them with stuff like the 243, uh, the 3030, the 45 Colt, the 357. Like it just does not feel right to be able to hunt them with those calibers considering like in real life. Most of the people that I know hunt them with 22 LRs. Like, there's really not a lot bigger that many people use, so it, it still feels really strange to be hunting them with rifles like the 243 and have that be just like the normal in Call of the Wild. I really wish they would have just kept them at class one. I feel like they were um, much more in line with what real life raccoons are like when they were at class one, but. I mean, I guess there's really nothing we can do about it. It's just one of those things we got to adjust to, but man, I really wish they would have kept them as a class one because that was way more realistic and a lot more fun as well. But anyway, guys, I think we will go ahead and end the video here. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button and ring that notification bell. And also let me know what you guys enjoyed most about this video down in the comments below. And if you made it this far in the video, a comment, I made it. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed, like I said, leave a comment on what you enjoyed most because I do a lot of my videos off of what you guys seem to be enjoying the most. So uh, the more feedback you guys give, the better the videos will be in the future because I'll actually know what you guys want to see. And uh, it seems like what I've seen in the past is that you guys really like these random wheel videos, which is why we continue to do them. So let me know down below. But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!